What kind of race car she oh, man, what are we doing here today? Welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and mount this front end. Okay, first step of uh, installing a bumper. Precise fitment. Um, and you think, but look, look, I mean, I calculated these uh, these measurements to be perfect, and I also made sure this gap is good. I got the headlights just sitting in there to make sure that, you know, we're in the ballpark. And then whoever put this intercooler in here sure did a banger job of making sure there's one finger width gap right there. It's like I knew the guy did that or something. But with the headlights in, that dumb dog. Anyways, um, like, yeah, pretty pretty precise uh, fitment. But yeah, I got the gaps looking good. So the first part I'm gonna be building is this bar to support everything. You can see, like, it's loose without everything. So I'm gonna build a bar that comes across here and then weld on some stuff to support these. The intercooler doesn't need as much because the uh, turbo and uh, piping's holding it on. But I'm still gonna put a brace to the intercooler Put a brace to the radiator and i'm going to make the bar removable i got these cool little flanges uh, here we are i got these cool little flanges so i'm gonna have a flange you know like right here or something so we can remove that bar if you ever need to or pull in the motor or something um and it's not in the way but then you can bolt it back up and it'll bolt to the radiator and the intercooler so stay tuned as i uh, build that Okay, so we're just trying to come up with an idea of how we're going to make this bar and how all these pieces are going to mount. And I wanted to make sure I get my thought process on here because this is some of the hardest part. Fabbing all this stuff is kind of easy. Coming up with the, a clean way to do it that looks good, but is structural, I think is the hard part. So we're looking at having the bar come through here, you know, close to the same angle. And we're trying to decide where we place this bar. Do we put it in the middle? Do we have it forward? Do we have it back? One of the problems is height. So, you know, the intercooler doesn't have a lot of room. Granted, the hood comes up pretty quick. Obviously, it clears this intake tube, so the hood comes up quick. But you still gotta worry about clearance. Like, I can't put this here and then have, you know, a mount and a bolt. Like, I think it'd be too close. So we need these mounts back a little bit. But we're also thinking, instead of building, you know, ears out here to mount this, what if we ran the bar right on the front edge of the radiator, welded these onto the radiator, and then just had a little ear that came off so this bar would bolt directly to this. And I think that's where the route we're gonna go here. Um, and that'll get these two mounted. And this bar removes, so it's not like it's permanent in the way. So you can unbolt it here, unbolt it on the side, and the whole bar will remove, so it's out of the way. Um, but I think this is gonna work for mounting the radiator. Now we're just trying to come up with something for the intercooler. Um, we're not as fond of you know having a mount here, and then, cause that's kind of too big of an ear. But, you know, do we have two little things? I don't know, we're still working on the front. The intercooler's not as um, worried. You can see I'm trying to move it. The turbo and the piping holds it really good. So I'm not as worried about that. The radiator's the main point, and that's kind of like, this is gonna be our upper radiator mount. I think that's gonna work perfect. Just gotta figure out something for this. So uh, stay tuned. Okay. We figured it out. So we're gonna take this smaller stuff that I used to mount a lot of stuff, and we're gonna make a horseshoe with it. So we're gonna have like one tab. I don't know if we're gonna center it between these two or center it on the intercooler. I don't know where it's going yet. But we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it like right here. And we're gonna make, oh, <clears throat> hold on, bear with me. Hearts are falling. Okay, we're gonna make a horseshoe that comes all the way around this with this thinner chromoly. And then on the inside of the horseshoe, we're gonna have a little steel plate in there that's flat, you know, that's welded in there and a bolt going right through it. So there'll be one horseshoe and a little steel plate and it'll be bolted in there to hold this from going anywhere. So that, that's where we're at. I think we're gonna start taking some measurements and try to get the piece bent. Um, I don't know the process, the order of operations on making the little stubs with the flanges and I don't know how all that's gonna work. Stay tuned, we're gonna kinda go through. I think I say stay tuned every time, so I'm gonna quit saying that, but um, I'll be back. So making the bends, um, made our first bend. We just sit here and we mark every inch and we know where we chucked it up into the bender. Like this was the very start of the bend over here. So we can count these so we can make sure it's all symmetrical on both sides. 
Um, I'm sure there's better ways to do it, but that's how I do it, and it's always worked. So we're just trying to match the angle of the headlight here with the angle of the other bar. You can see the other bar is hiding back there, but if you look at from here, it's in the same line as that bar, and it's in line with the headlight. So when you step back and look at it, it'll all be symmetrical when the hood's off, and I think it'll look good. So we got that one done. We're leaving it long on purpose. We're going to make this bar all the way first, and then we're going to fit it all the way to this bar so it looks it's fitment good. Then we're going to cut it and put those flanges in. But we got to make this bar first. We kind of went back and forth on that. I think that's the best route. Um, so yeah, now we're going to bend the other one, and I will check back. I think my new tagline is time to get back to work. All right, so we are center of the bar, and you can see, like, if I look at both sides, the bar underneath is hidden. Um, and it matches, like, if you look at the headlight, like, this bar matches that angle. And look, if I hold it right there, it hides that, matches the headlight angle. If I come over here, hides that bar, matches the headlight angle. Things going to look good, um, and then we're just going to have, you know, some tabs here. Like I said, we're still trying to figure out where the perfect spot for the horseshoe is going to be. And then I think we're going to come off with something here to do a, like a Zeus on the top of the bumper somehow, maybe. I don't know. That, the bumper mounting is going to come later. First, we're worried about the other stuff. Um, but what else was I going to talk about? The, oh, angle. So I just had it in my mind that this bar was going to be flat. So it was going to come straight across here and connect to this bar. I think it would have cleared the uh, gate, but it would have been close. So that, that was my original thinking. Um, but Ryan, the guy that's helping me, he thought it was going to angle down. And then I got to thinking about it, you know, to be honest, like the slope of the front end and how the other bars are coming down. Like, I really think that's going to look better if we tied in up a little higher and slope down to this. Um, and it'll kind of match the body lines better. And yeah, I think, I think that's going to be the better option. So, I mean, it's not going to be sloped as much as it is now, but it'll have a little bit of slope. So, I, I think that's the better option. So, we're going to go ahead. I think we're going to start trimming these down so it'll sit down on there. And then start, um, you know, I'll use a grinder and get the fitment good on each side. And then we'll probably, we'll probably tack it up. I think we're going to tack it and then cut it, to be honest. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, back to work. So this is where we're at. We uh, trimmed it, which I missed some steps here, but we trimmed it, got it in there, then we measured the angles between the two pipes so I know what angle to cut it at, and we marked the length of how long we wanted it to be. So you can see this is how long I wanted it to be, and then I measured the angle and marked the pipe at the angle, and then we went and cut them, and I haven't done any fitment, but you can look like those are almost weldable as they sit right now, and I spend a few minutes on each side with a flapper wheel, and it'll be perfect. Um, so here's a look from the front. That looks good. Look how good it looks with the other angles. Like it just all flows together. And then like flowing with the car, like it's cause it's angled downhill a little bit, not much, but enough where, yeah, it looks really good. And you can see like the fitment, fitment's pretty good on it. Like once I spend a little time with the flapper wheel, we'll be good. And yeah, so both the angles match the other pipes. I'm pretty happy with that. So hopefully, oh, we're running out of daylight. You can see there's not much time left and Dave's car is outside. So it is what it is, but I think we're gonna try to get this fitted. Um, so it's sitting down good and yeah, just see how far we can go. I don't know how much welding I'll do outside. It's kind of breezy and it's hard to weld, um, TIG weld out here when it's breezy. So I may see if it's gonna be calmer tomorrow and I may do the welding tomorrow, but. There you have it. Uh, we're, we're getting close on this front bar. So I hope this, you can see this. It's getting really dark. And actually, I think the camera makes it look better. It does. It's, it's getting really dark out here. But so I fit this end. Um, I just use a grinder and, you know, trial and error. Fit, 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 fit. But you can see it's tight. No gaps. Um, so this side's ready to weld. Um, you can see I cleaned off the nastiness. I'll clean this pipe as well before I weld it. Come over here. So now I just got to fit this side. Um, we're probably gonna get this side fit up and we're gonna have to call it a night. We're just losing too much daylight um, So let me get back to work and I am officially out of light to work on But you can see it's just kind of resting there, but this side has now made it up um, No gaps. It's ready to weld. It's cleaned up. I'm sure the quality this is bad. It's just too dark out here So um, yeah, it looks good. 
So now tomorrow morning I'm gonna start taking off and I will chop the pipes to put the flanges in, weld the little pieces on the radiator intercooler and build those. And I mean, probably only another hour or two left on this bar and the main part of it will be done. And then we can start moving on to the bumper and that is a whole nother project on itself. See ya tomorrow. Hey, look, it's bright outside again. Ta-da! All right, next day, it's the evening. It's like 100 and something degrees outside today. If you're lucky, uh, I love you, and you're going to buy me gallons of ice cream for this, but whatever. So we uh, tacked it. This was really hard to tack. It's a little breezy out here. For anyone who doesn't know, um, TIG welders don't really work if there's any breeze. So I don't know how I'm going to actually weld all this up yet. I'll figure it out. But I got it tacked up, so the bar is super solid now. We marked where we want the flanges on each side. So I think I'm gonna use a sawzall to do the cut. We got the flanges, so we're gonna make the cut, put the flanges on there, and then tack all the flanges with it bolted up and leave everything shimmed. Like I got some popsicle sticks, uh, which nice little trick. I'm sure there's other ways to do this, but I've used these for a while now for shimming stuff. Um, I use popsicle sticks, man. They work really good. And you can see, like, I got several taped together right here to shim this out the uh, right amount. Like, it works pretty good. It's a little trick that I use. Um, I'm sure there's probably some fancy fabrication shimming blah, blah, blah. But those were, like, 99 cents, and they work great. So, uh, yeah, we'll cut this, tack the flanges on, and I'll uh, visit with you here shortly. And there we have it, tacked up. Um, I think this is where I'm going to be wrapping this video up. And I've got some questions for you. But let me kind of go over what we did first. Well, their cable out of here. All right, so tacked up the bars to the main one, and then we cut it, put the flanges in. The flanges are just tacked right now. I'm going to take the main bar off and take it in the garage to weld it. It's too windy out here to try to weld it. And then, see, uh, welded these, and I got the aluminum ones tacked down there. I still have to weld those all the way around. But got those on there. Same with this side. The intercooler mounts, we're pretty sure we're going to come off the bumper mounts. We're going to have some bars that come off and come to the bumper down here. And um, I think the intercoolers, we'll put a little tab off of that and weld it. It's solid, so I'm not as worried. But now, like, I can't move the radiator or this bar. Like, it's all solid. Um, and it looks really good. Like, it's all symmetrical. And I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. So now, in wrapping up this video, the um, so this is part one. Um, part two is probably going to be doing the bumper mounts to mount the bumper and this may just be a two-parter that may turn into two videos I don't know but anyways for this first part I want to end this and I, we got a big debate going on what to do with the holes in the bumper and I've talked to Dave and we just don't really know for sure we're going to cut a circle out where the turbo is that's obvious but instead of just doing that and then like what do we do for the intercooler originally Dave was thinking just oh cut a big square for the intercooler things like, man, that's just not going to look good. A circle here and then a huge square here. Um, and I think it'll make it real flimsy. I don't know. Um, what do you guys think? Comment down below how you think we should do it. Some of the options that we have are cut a circle for the turbo and then just make a bunch of slits that are only, you know, quarter inch or half inch high for the intercooler. So it's a little more complete. Um, the other option is maybe cut out this top area like factory you know the factory openings right here we can't put the grill there but we could cut it out factory and like half the intercooler would be exposed and the turbo would get air and then maybe put like a mesh screen you know on the back side so it kind of you know makes it look like a grill or i mean that's the two main options we got i think um i kind of am saying just cut a hole for the turbo and who cares about the intercooling radiator it's a race car anyways but I think I'm going to get voted out on that one. So uh, comment below. What do, you th what do you think for the bumper? What do you think? And uh, we're open to ideas. If you got a great idea, like, hey, put it down below. We're, we're open to ideas. We're trying to figure this out. We still got some time before we got to cut those holes. So figure, hey, why not ask everybody? See what they think. But in short, not really. This is uh, me rambling on now. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to wrap this up. We will see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for part two of mounting the Pro Mod front end on Davey Dave's car.